the waterfall. Uh -huh. Just gonna admire the view for a moment because, man. Can't get very close to this waterfall as well, but. Not quite into it, sadly. But that's okay. <laughs> this uh, this looks painful. This looks like something you really don't want to be climbing because. It just. I, I'm assuming it would just feel like it would just break randomly and. Ugh. I don't think I would like to risk that one. Yeah. Uh, let's see what happens. I guess we're supposed to be jumping. Hey, and hey, yeah, that is pretty deep water. Let's yeah. tr see if we can jump. Can we just slightly fall down? No. I was wondering if we could get in between there, but it doesn't look like that's going to be an option. Let's tilt the camera a little bit more in a favorable direction. And I'm actually going to try and get this guy into the water because I'm kind of curious hey, it does appear hey, that they need to be close enough to each other before you can actually do certain things but I'm curious if I can do anything with these fish because that would be cool I can't grab the water at least but other than cleaning myself it doesn't look like I can actually grab one of the fish. I guess that was just a l little bit of wishful thinking on my part there, but it would have been cool if there was anything we could do with these fish right here. Hmm. It is nice that we can just walk around here, though. Just look at everything. Because the fish are... It, they do look like they are easily missed. They're just small parts of the world, really. But the brothers don't want to be too far away from each other. I'm actually, I'm, I'm just briefly going to try to see if maybe the little brother didn't want to go into the water because, yeah, because the other brother was just too far away. But let's see if the little brother can do anything with this water. Well, he can splash it on himself. <laughs> That's pretty neat. I don't think there's anything we can do here, but I figured I'd just have a little close up of the fish anyway. And having done that, I think we can move along, really. It doesn't look like there's too much else going on here. Other than water we can play with, but... That's been fun. We need to get going. We have more important tasks to be doing right now. Uh, let's do this. Keep going in this direction. And I guess... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Don't float in midair like that. It's worrying <laughs> when you do that but instead time for another boost it looks like another area with a rope that nah, the big brother is going to be climbing any second now there we go Ooh, and another weird jumping thing but this time a little bit more complex from the looks of things i wonder if you actually have to choose the right rock with each character but uh, how about you let go and make something like that? Ugh. Yeah, I'm not going to do this with two characters at the same time because I can see this going pretty horribly wrong. But instead, just make our way forward like this. A little bit more safe looking. <laughs> There's a bird in the cage there. I wonder if we can free it. I don't want to bird to be caged. I want them to run around. Ooh, bunnies. Giant bunnies from the looks of things. They look pretty huge. <laughs> One white bunny among a bunch of black ones. That's cute. The bonfire type thing looks a bit odd, but they're still all adorable. Maybe that those other bunnies have just been jumping around there too long. I wonder if I can just play with the bunnies. I'm gonna have like the little brother just go by himself for once. Hey. Look at that. Did I just grab one of the bunnies? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I can grab the white one as well. Doesn't look like there's really any point to doing this, but you know, I can. Yeah, this. This just seems to be kind of bullying. Oh, hey. There we go. 
The white bunny feels more at home now. And I got an achievement for it, so I guess that was the idea behind the bunnies. That's cute, though. Look at how happy the bunny is hopping around now. That's adorable. Let's keep going. We've got things to do. Birds to look at. Because that bird did look pretty cute. Let's look at this bird. It looks almost like some sort of weird duck thing. I wonder what type of bird that even is. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. And of course. <laughs> he doesn't care. He's happy enough with letting the bird go wild. Look at this though. Just tilt the camera around a little bit. It's interesting because there are some games where you would have a view like this and you would inevitably just have this area in the distance where they didn't really bother. <laughs> but in this game, just everywhere, just is just, it just looks incredible pretty much. It's really got a really good looking so far. And I'm guessing this is going to be one of these things. Yeah. Was kind of curious where else there would be a wheel there, but... Before we go there, I'm wondering if there's... Yeah, we can actually go up here. I'm not sure if we want to, but we can. Come on. We are not helping anyone right now. Come on. Yeah, it does look like we have to go there. As, uh... The guy says. Oh my god. <laughs> The little brother is such a tea, just such a jerk sometimes to just a lot of people. But at the same time, he seems to be a good kid, so maybe he should be a little bit more careful about his actions. But what are you going to do? He is just a video game child. And we're just going to leave it like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to this area, so I'm just going to... Get into that wheel and get my brother to the other side. I wonder what happens if I... Oh, okay, that's what happens. <laughs> guess I shouldn't be too surprised, but... I wonder how I'm going to get my little brother to that side, though. I guess maybe I just have to get the sheep over. But I'm guessing... Oh, yeah, or that. <laughs> now, there was something about a black sheep that I read about this game, so I'm kind of curious... Oh no! No, don't do not do that. That is actually quite dangerous for a sheep. It's quite remarkable how non-durable a sheep is, but I am just gonna have to try this, I'm afraid. Even though it's gonna take a while, I am curious if I can dip the sheep into the soot the same way I did with the bunny. This is gonna take a while, <laughs> I'm afraid. Because it does appear that a bunny is slightly more light than a sheep. Which I guess makes sense, but, you know. Oh, no. Can I not? God, I'm just throwing with sheep here. That is an irresponsible thing to be doing. Get him over there. This would work great as a co-op game where you're both holding the same controller. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I'm sorry, sheep. <laughs> I know that wasn't a very nice thing to do, but at the same time, it I had to try. I had to know. <laughs> right, let's do this again. Let's this time just get a sheep on the, the wheel, I guess. I'm guessing that's what I'm supposed to be doing here. Somehow get the wheel to be controlled by the sheep. Right no, 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 no. God, I am not being careful. I should not be handling sheep ever in my entire life because... I clearly am not capable of handling a sheep while walking into a large wheel. It's not working out very well at all. There we go. I think he's running in the wrong direction. But it seems to be fine. I guess this thing works both directions or something. It's some kind of magic, I guess. You don't need to be grabbing any more sheep here. I just want to have... Oh, I can pet the sheep as well. Excellent. And enjoy the butterflies and continue on our way. Excellent. Uh, 
Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much going on here except for odd looking water effect in the distance, which I'm just gonna ignore. <laughs> just gonna ignore the water effect over there and instead I'm just gonna make our way up here. See what these mountains have to hide. This looks dangerous. And the dog's still not too happy about what we've done, I guess. What is that sound? Is someone crying? Is there an ogre up here or something? Because that sounds suspiciously like an ogre. Ogres always have oddly deep voices for some reason. Except for Shrek. He was different. Yeah, that does look like someone who's not having a very good day. Also, he has mushrooms growing on his back. Which may or may not have anything to do with this, but you never know. Maybe he's just looking for someone to share his food with. I hope he's not going to eat us. That would not be good. Oh, he looks nice. That wouldn't have been my first thought, but... Well, he does seem to know. Is he going to lead the way, or...? Hmm. I don't know. Let's first look over here, though. There does appear to be a nicer view on the water over here. And it does look quite nice from here. Yeah. Hmm. Oh no, it does look like we have to go in this direction. Uh, I wonder if he would. Yeah, he's waiting for us. I'll go to him in a second. I want to rummage through his things. Knock on a cauldron, apparently. <laughs> Obviously something you do when you enter someone's home. Knock on their cauldrons. I don't think I can sit on his things. He's trying to do something here from the looks of things, but no... I think that might just be an idle animation, actually, but... Oh, well. There's two beds here, and I only see one person. I wonder where the other one is. See, that's just not very nice. <laughs> that is not what you generally do when someone's offering their home. Oh, well. I guess we're just not very nice people, but... Uh, oh, well. Let's see if he's just going to throw us or something. Okay, it does appear that he is just going to be throwing us. But he's got a remarkably reliable throwing arm, as if he's been doing this more than just once, really. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Sadly, we can't see our house, but fortunately we can see that, so... I would say that's pretty good compensation for not being able to see our house. Oh, how did he get here? He just walked around. Oh, he's going to throw us again. <laughs> Wasn't actually aware that his hand was where it was. Oh, jeeps. I guess I do actually have to keep holding the button. Fortunately, he is a patient little ogre and is willing to help us like that. I wonder if he even is an ogre. Never been very good with mythological large beings. Never really been good with the ogres and the giants and whatnot. Ugh, but I would like to get out of here as quickly as possible, so... That is an oddly black-looking rock, but... We're just gonna move on. The black rock has... No quarry with us. Ha ha ha! Ah, hilarity. God, the entire... Controller shook. And I guess that's just not anything new at all, but it startled me. <laughs> I don't care that Rumble has been around since who knows how long. I am still startled by it every now and then when it's used properly. That does not look... Oh, okay, that's what he's doing. I was going to say that looks like an odd way of getting us to the other side, but no, that actually kind of makes sense. Very nice. Of, uh, Mr. Ogre. This looks like a dead end, though. But I think we can get up here if we... If we try, we can climb our way to safety. 
to the next part of our little voyage. Is he? What is he doing? Oh, he's climbing as well. I thought he was holding his hand there so he could throw us again or something, but no, he was just putting his hand there, I guess. I'm not really sure what he was doing there. Okay, we can jump here. It's nice that, like, it's like little things where they just hold their hands in specific ways and it just shows that, oh, there's a jumping time. Hmm. I'm kind of curious what would happen if I let go of the hold button now, and at the same time, I'm guessing the same thing will happen as when I got hit by that dog. So I'm just going to leave that to everyone's imagination, I think. Yeah. And instead, just look at this waterfall. I'm quite a fan of waterfalls. <laughs> this may be somewhat obvious, but I, I just really like waterfalls, and this game has very nice-looking ones, which is good. Okay. I wonder if it would be possible to just get stuck behind him or something. That would be unfortunate if that happened, but it doesn't look like that is very likely to happen. I'm glad our large friend is very willing to help us, though. He has been nothing but hospitality so far. And gosh, these two brothers are very coordinated when it comes to jumping up. It's like that's easier to control for me or something. Can I just climb up here now? Yeah. Hmm. Can be a bit tricky sometimes to quite see the path, but I guess it only took about half a second before I saw it, so I probably should just stop with this sentence immediately and instead see where this leads. A lot of things. Like, I wouldn't mind like that if you could just sit on a tree trunk or something or just smell the flowers or... Look, okay, I probably don't want to go down here, but I probably am going to go down here, am I? This is probably going to happen. Is he going to hold us while doing this? Because I kind of, okay. <laughs> I kind of didn't want to be thrown down there. That wouldn't seem like a very safe idea. But fortunately, he knew what he was doing. He seems to have been here before, which uh, is good because can't say that this is very familiar territory to me. Can I swim here? Can I climb on his back? Wait, can I? Hmm. For a minute there, I thought I could like swim properly, but it doesn't look like it. Uh, come on, climb on his back. He doesn't, he doesn't, oh, okay, no, there we go. For a moment there, I thought he wasn't climbing on my back, but it was just the graphics being weird, I guess. It it kind of just looked like he clipped through him rather than actually climbing on his back. But, nope, he did actually climb on his back, which is nice. Though, it does get a bit weird whenever we get close to the shore and he just sort of immediately disappears off of my back. But that's okay. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy the views. This is definitely a game for just enjoying the scenery so far as well. Kind of reminds me of Journey in that regard, which definitely had very different visuals, but kind of the same idea of just going on a journey, <laughs> which is what we're doing as well. It's just a few more things to interact with than compared to Journey in slightly different ways, thanks to the two brothers just actually having personality, which is very nice. Like, you can just see that they're actually different people, even though there's no... English language or stuff like that. It's just going around town. Every now and then there's a little tutorial thing showing what buttons I have to press, but I think after the second time that lowered quite drastically as well. This is an oddly lit rock, but oh well. Nothing we have to worry about, I guess. Frame rate's dipping a little bit here, but hopefully you won't actually be able to see that on the video anyway because YouTube doesn't run at anything higher than 30 anyway. Uh, let's turn this. We are in a very odd place. If this is actually where they keep medicine, then I can see why it's not just in stock at all times, because this doesn't really look like the kind of place where people generally hang out. I mean, there have obviously been people building stuff here, but who knows how long this has been here. Also, there's fireflies, which is always cool to see. What's over here, though? 
Oh, that's where I came from. I thought there was a door here or something, but it doesn't look like it now. Coming from the other s with the camera spun in the other direction, it did look a bit different, but... Oh well. Let's keep going. Make our way through this very ominous place. With very ominous music playing pretty much all the time. Ooh, loud wheel. Can we just grass farm like this, or...? Yep. This looks safe. Ugh. I can see things going very, very wrong there, but fortunately we were okay. And onwards we go. Man, this is just so drastically different from the outside. They have really good looking caves though. Come on. Don't think I'm gonna mess around too much jumping around large voids. <laughs> Doesn't seem like the safest thing to be doing right now. Kind of like playing around these cogs. Probably not the safest idea. Not sure if they really qualify as cogs, really, the way they're shaped. But I think I think people can can safely not mind too much if I accidentally call something a cog when it isn't a cog. But you never know. There may be a cog enthusiast watching right now who's like. Oh, that's not a cog, what are you talking about? And this looks like something that can be carried by our two brothers. Or accidentally dropped by our two brothers. Hmm. Not really sure they take it though, but... It looks important enough to take it with me and therefore I'm going to take it with me. That block is in the way. I'm not really sure if... This is gonna work. I hope this is gonna work, but... At the same time, I don't really know what this is for. I'm guessing there's something currently blocked or something, but I honestly don't know. Maybe I can get this over here and then act like human beings rather than video game characters, which is somewhat refreshing, really. <laughs> Whereas in some other games, you would most likely just clip through with one of the characters and the other one would you be, just be like, yep, that's my brother. He can go through physical beings and objects because that's just how we grew up. That's just how we lived our lives. Okay. Turn. Turning is oddly difficult sometimes, but I think I might just be confusing myself with the controls again. Maybe I'm supposed to be blocking that cog with this thing. I think there was something spinning in the other direction over there, so... It would make sense to do this. I and mean, it, it just fits perfectly, so I'm. this is most likely the thing that's going to happen right here. There we go. We broke everything. Hooray for us. We are destroyers. And yeah, I'm pretty sure this was spinning around earlier, so... That probably wouldn't have been a very good idea to try and traverse while it was moving. Probably wouldn't have worked out in our favor very much, now would it? Probably not, but oh well. Let's see what this is. This is very much a place built on having two people at all times. <laughs> I mean, it does seem like like stuff like this. You are how are you going to do this on your own? Unless you are a very very strong person. Not really sure what this is going to accomplish, but okay, bridge. Uh, can I spin this at all? Just slightly more. Uh, slightly. Come on. I want, I want you guys. No. How about... Okay. Spin it some more. No. <laughs> Just find some way. I know you guys can do this. I know you guys are capable of what I'm trying to do here. Pull all the way back. I can't spin it from here. This is interesting. Okay, there we go. They were not interested until I let go of the thing for some reason. And after that, I could just press back on both gamepads or analog sticks, and they were like, yep, we know what we're doing. Don't worry about it. We, uh, we've done this before. We are pretty well-coordinated brothers, you and I. And I was very curious if there was something new over there that I missed, but no. It was just a small passage. And this does not look like the safest of bridges, but this entire place looks like it could use a touch-up by health and safety, really. And then someone out there remembered all his health and safety classes and is like, no. 
It's okay to have non-health and safety things sometimes. For the sake of things looking just really, really ludicrously nice instead. A little bit more natural with the added giant cogs here and there. I don't see a rope. This is worrying. <laughs> How am I going to get out of here with the other one? Maybe I can turn that thing around somehow. Uh, looks like I can jump there. Whoa! I uh, <laughs> Would help if I hold the button to actually grab onto things, I guess. Would probably be a good idea. Does it turn around now? Oh, okay, cool. And I'm just going to leave it like this until I've climbed all the way there before I let go again. Because I'm guessing once I let go... That thing's gonna move again. <laughs> That's just how this machine is made. Is there another ogre there? Yeah. There's several there, actually. Just hammering away with their pickaxes. And fishes? Fish? Not fishes. <laughs> just fish, but let's give it a look see anyway. Probably more water we can splash around. Yeah. I wonder if there's anything you can do with these fish. Probably not, but... They are happy looking fishies. And it does seem like the only thing we can really do here is play with the water, as... We have seen many times now. <laughs> but I just enjoy playing with that water. I just can't help myself. Just can't help myself. It did look like there were two staircases, but I'm guessing they're both going to lead to the exact same area. Because I'm guessing this, yeah, this, oh, there's another bench here, so. Mustn't let an opportunity like this just go by. Have to look at it from the very nice looking camera angle. Have to scratch my head again with the big brother. And having done so, we can move on. It's, it's probably for the best that we find as many benches as possible and just take in the view before moving on because... There's a lot to take in in this game in terms of views and nice things. This looks horrible. This looks like something that's going to be something that could go horribly, horribly wrong. Yep, there we go. Oh, that wasn't quite what I wanted. Can I hold on to two? No. Have to get one with each. And I'm probably not going to want to let go of that button right now because this is another one of those places where I don't really want to fall down. And that looks like a place where I don't want to be seen in the middle of because I'm guessing that's not going to be the safest place either for anyone involved in this little escapade right here. Come on. You can do it. Don't just randomly go into your idle animation when I don't need you to. Is this going to open it? Yeah. Very good. Don't close. And we probably want to make sure it doesn't close on your brother either. That would be bad. That would be very, very bad. And he can just walk the other way. Again, if you were here alone... This would not be good. This uh, this would be a very large problem you'd be finding yourself in right now. Because I don't really see how you would get yourself out of this situation. It doesn't really... I guess this place isn't really built for you humans in that sense. It does seem to be built more for the ogres that inhabit this place than for the humans, but... Still, though, it doesn't seem like somewhere you want to be because the little levers and stuff do seem to be made specifically to get humans across, so. What are you going to do? Can I move this to the other side? No. Can I just jump there? Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, I guess I do want to move it back again so I can hold on with this guy. And then move it all the way there again. And I probably want this. Okay, yeah, I do. Because now I can do this, and this means... Okay, this actually does mean good stuff. Oh, man, this is an elaborate system. <laughs> but that's just how we're going to get through life. Going to find every single 
single and flingle. And make sure no one accidentally gets crushed. Gonna make sure no one accidentally presses the wrong button. That would also be bad right now. If I accidentally press the wrong button, which would cause our brother to get squashed or have him let go or other such bad things. There's a lot of st a lot of stuff that could just go horribly, horribly wrong in the area we're finding ourselves right now. But fortunately, these guys are pretty confident of each other's abilities, which is good because if you don't trust each other in this particular situation, I think there would be somewhat of a downside here. But we got nothing to worry about. We're just gonna make our way forward. Lots and lots of areas. Just gonna go back down for just a moment to see if... Okay, we can't touch that. It looked like we might barely be able to go in there, but I guess not gonna happen. Just gonna keep on climbing. Hasn't really been much um, obstacles, really, aside from the dog that really just tried to hurt us. Everyone's been pretty either not wanting to help us at all or just kind of like, yeah, you're cool. Let's, let's go because, I don't know, everyone's just being either nice or indifferent. <laughs> Get over there. God. So much that could go horribly wrong, though, just by accidentally letting go of one button or pressing the other button by being confused of which character is which and then just falling down because you didn't grab onto the thing. Look at that. That is a statement I'm going to be saying every single time. There is something to be looking at, really. I wonder if you can just keep holding on. Where would you end even end up? I uh, guess it's a little bit too late for that now. So, let's go here instead. Yump. At least when they both have to climb the same height, it's not as confusing with the controls, which is good. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Maybe? Is it bad? Uh, it's kind of bad looking. Yeah, let's get out of here as quickly as possible. <laughs> oh, no. We are destroying everything they hold dear. I... I do hope those ogres don't mind it too much. It just keeps breaking more and more. Let's just pretend that we were never here. I think that's probably the best choice of action we've got right now. 